Hello. Ciao. Hello. And welcome. Thank you very much. First of all, we wanted to say that we are very, very happy and grateful that you decide to join Erden's family. This is a great pleasure for us, for Thank me. You. The idea of the interview we have uh, made, because we wanted to show our viewers a little bit closer, your personality, your way, how you start to dancing and uh, how it's happening that you are now on the top of the top uh, dancers in the world. So the first question that is always uh, the, the, the question that we needed to ask is how did it start? When you start to dance and who was your first partner and how was the, the journey until okay. this moment where we are now? So good, because we are in family, we are also drinking. Yes, coffee, yeah, yes. And uh, of course, because so it's we Italian don't, it's, coffee. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not good to do cheese, but yes, we do cheese. Yes, so, yes. Uh, hello, everybody. Now, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation. I'm, I'm very happy to join in this Air Dance Up. So for me, it's um, my pleasure, our pleasure, I would say, speak about Sara. Now, um, I start when I was nine years old, so last year. Very, I was very young, and still I'm very young, so I don't even... Really <laughs> No? Yeah, of course, yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Still good. So naturally, I was nine years old. And we, I always danced with Sarah. Always, never changed. She was so my she was your per first, first partner. And the last one. And uh, for sure, she will be my f last partner. So she was eight and I was young, nine. So Incredible. our parents, because my brother, is still is uh, now is a teacher, but he was a professional Latin. Start to dance with Sarah, Sarah sisters, and she was uh, also they, they are together. So they start the family before they give opportunity to start together, and then because I saw him, Sarah saw also her sister that they was dancing. We think okay, we can start together. And this is our story. So we. So you was uh, so first of all your brother start yes, started dancing. So that was my uh, another question. But you are going um, so in front of my my mind. <laughs> but because it is going this yeah. way, I was watching him, and I fall in love about the dance to watching him. So because uh, because uh, I have to say ciao, Michael. <laughs> now uh, because I was watching him uh, in the. In the in the lessons, I fall in I fall in love about the, um, the dance, and we decide to dance me and Sarah to dance together. But and you start also in ten dance, like uh, for sure, for sure. So in the Latin was also there. In our studio, it was impossible to decide to dance just one. If you want to dance, you want to start to dance, you have to dance ten dance. And we were dancing ten dance from when I was twelve. I was junior champion in Latin in Boru and in Tendance, youth champion in Boru, Latin and Tendance, and then I became amateur champion in Boru, Latin and Tendance, and then we also danced our world champions in, uh, in Tendance. It's good, good. We always enjoy. Actually, I, if I have to say the truth, I was thinking to be Latin boy and not Boru boy. I, was dig I didn't like so much the and Boru. The world champion, yes? Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Huh? <laughs> I was just practice the ballroom because my teacher wants that. I, want, I need to practice ball. Andrea, you need to practice ball, yes. So, but actually, I was more um, happy to enjoy Latin, but as soon as I really understand that ballroom and Latin are very connected and the information are very similar. And when you like and you love the, um, to dance your body, you like the music, you like to dance with another part and with a partner. If you dance ballroom, light it, okay. You can also dance sal uh, salsa, bachata, whatever, tango argentino, whatever you dance, it's beautiful. What really change our attitude to continue to improve ballroom was the competition. So when we were uh, under 21, uh, we danced Blackpool the first time in youth, Blackpool uh, under 21. 
So pre preparing Latin every day, practice Latin, ba ba ba. Arrived to the competition, first time 48 in Latin, 24 in ballroom, without so much practice. So another year, so I was like 18, I think. So and then I try next year, so 19, I say, okay, now this year, for sure, I need to beat all the couple uh, in front of me. In that period, there was Stefano Di Filippo, wherever. So in uh, <laughs> always, so I say, okay. Yeah, I know the name. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, me and Sara always practice again Latin, 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 and then ballroom semi-final. So I start to say to Sara, maybe it's time to think to practice a little bit more, spend a little bit more time also in the lesson for ballroom. As soon as we understand, so we practice in equal way Latin and ballroom, the ballroom will start to go... Growing up. Yeah, yeah growing very easy. Mm -hmm. This is what's beautiful. But I have to say to everybody, really Latin, the Latin for 25 years we dance Latin, me and Sara. And if you want to go on YouTube, you can see some video of Lawa Latin with the tango feet. Helped me a lot to understand the body action, the attitude on the floor, the ability to use the body, to don't just think about the frame, to dance inside of the frame. For Latin couple, are good to practice ballroom. For ballroom couple, it's good also to have a lesson of Latin. Latin. The mix. The mix, for me, is the key be yeah, because dancing, uh, it's, uh, I think the most important thing is uh, to enjoy the time between well the um, couple yeah, and yeah. the music and everything. So it doesn't matter if this is ballroom or this is Latin. If you enjoy the time, yes. it will be look If amazing. you like, you love to move together with the music, you can also dance social. Of uh, course, yeah. exactly. So this is incredible. 30 years yeah. together with one partner. With my wife. With your wife. So tell me, is there any, uh, I don't know, special recipe? How to do it? How to begin with a one person, staying on the floor, practicing for many hours every day, spending with the same person 24 hours uh, uh, and still be so successful and don't fight it? And I don't know how, how you did it. How do you manage that one? Uh, don't fight it is a... <laughs> is a a secret. We didn't <laughs> fight him, okay? Guys, you are not fighting with your partner. Now, uh, good question. Now, first of all, when we meet each other, when we were young, Sarah told to me that she was better than me. <laughs> Already she's coming to me and she, the first word she said, Andrea, I'm much better than you. And I say to her, okay, I'm much better than you. So, already, Without think that we can win amateur world champion, we can win professional world champion, we can win everything. Already our brain was thinking to be the best. The best. But there was like a competition of each other. So competition in a good way. So both we have the same goal. To be always good, to improve, to always think that we need to improve. And the practice, Always in the practice we are thinking to improve. We never think that we are the best so we have to just stay in this way. We are always searching something more and this is motivate us and I think we hope that we can motivate the people that are watching us in the competition and in the show and in the lesson because for a dancer and I think all the top couple are agree with me we love to dance for the audience. We love to dance for the people. We like the reaction. The reaction. Of course. So if we, for example, I win uh, Blackpool, but I felt that night was the worst night in um, my career in the feeling. I don't care about the result. I'm care that I didn't dance in the best way. So this is for me more frustrating. So I want always, every time, to do my best. And Sarah is just like me. So, so that's so. probably challenge you as yeah. much. So that was the, the, the point why you keep going because you are so the same goal yeah. for you and your partner. But there was in all the career that you are now dancing together, there was not even one day that you have this, like, I don't know, 
there was a day in your life that you wanted to split or to change? Uh, no, to split? No, never. Never? Never. I, we didn't stay together in the live uh, until I was 21. So with Sarah, so from 8 to 20, she had one life, private life, mm -hmm. and then together. I have another life, privately, and then together. So we are separate. But and then when she growing up, and she, rem I remember that she's coming back <laughs> from holiday, and uh, she's blonde, bl blue eyes, with a dark uh, skin, so beautiful, growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up in many aspects, yes. I was thinking, hmm, why I'm searching around when I have the best lady in the world Beautiful. in front of me? So I said to her with one coffee like this, <laughs> Sarah, you want to stay with me? So this is, was my first say. I said, okay, we, we can try. So we start to get together and we never, I never think to split from Sarah. And I think also she didn't think to split with me. Bad night or bad uh, period. Actually, I'm very strong. I have a strong mentality. For me, uh, it's important also to go down, to have the power to, oh, yeah, to come back up. Yes, exactly. So because if the life is always in the good the same way. Level. And then start to be boring. And when it's too, too boring, then we don't have no goals. And when people have no goals, yeah. then we start to destroy something to, yeah. to find another, another way to... We like to the paradise, exactly. but uh, our world is not always paradise. Exactly. Uh, so, no, we don't, I never think to split. And there was a night that, or practice that, of course, you want to say, go away, I don't want to see <laughs> anymore you and she and me. But the day after, come back, practice, sweat together and try to improve. Mm -hmm. And the most beautiful day or uh, memory from your career? Uh, yeah, few, not so many. Eh? Because of course we did a lot of competition in our career, amateur and pro. Uh, actually, I want to say one story. When we were amateur, every week, usually also two times per week, competition. So. Guys, if you want to dance, you have to dance every day. So don't think that is easy life. Enjoy the busy life and good life. The first good memory in my life was the, my first competition when I was very kids, that I have the trophy in my hand. I still remember that I, we, we won the competition and it was my first, I have the first trophy. I was so happy to have this trophy, and still I remember. When we won the first time the Blackpool, for the first time in amateur. We won Blackpool for three times, but the first time was my best memory. We receive, uh, and it's not easy to receive, standing ovation yes. when you are amateur. Mm -hmm. And we receive all the standing ovation from the audience in that night. And also for, for the dancer, it's beautiful sometimes, please, to receive the innovation. <laughs> because one more time, we dance for you guys. Uh, I know that in this period, there is a lot of uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you see many videos and whatever. But still, we are dancing every day to improve our step and our ability. So when you see us in the real life, Enjoy, please, and enjoy with us. And then um, the next was uh, the first time winning uh, Blackpool uh, professional. professional. And the world last year. The world last year was the most important, uh, uh, not just for the title, but in the way that I, we went in this competition. Mm -hmm. We were so preparing. We know that we go there to to fighting, to dance, to uh, enjoy, maybe in one way. But we really prepare to go there and to do the maximum because we have just one chance. And this is for me was the best. So we, we know that when we can, we do. And Great. it's possible. So uh, another question. Um, if you will now have a possibility to travel in time and you will meet you, let's say 20 years ago, 
So what will you tell to yourself? Will you change something for this uh, period of your time or you will go the same way? Same exactly? way. Exactly the same way. Same teacher, same partner, same brain. I don't change nothing, no. I may really enjoy that what we are doing, that one more time is no easy life. Exactly. It's easy now, really. Now is very good. But when we sit reach, on a couch, drink a coffee. <laughs> drink coffee is very easy. But to have this, this now, to watch behind me, I know that is not easy. But it's, it's, I decide, we decide, me and Sarah, to do this. So I decide to do have this life. Actually, Sarah is a doctor. She is a, a university. So she has every university, reach the university. So she is really doctor. But finish the career of doctor, so never do it, just study. And full, uh, full immersion in the... I was, I was architect, but I did never have time to really for the job, yeah. just study. But, you know, when you fall in love in one way, go. Yeah. Go in one way, think that is possible, and do Believe it. We have two legs, two arms, exactly. one brain, so it's possible. Exactly. We need just to do. Last question. Uh, if you have now the possibility to tell something uh, very special uh, to the new young generation that you are now teaching and uh, of course uh, that are using also the app, uh, is any, do you have any, an, any uh, let's say, um, special uh, advice. tips, advice that you wanted to give them? I think the new kids, but this is or the new generation, it's not just I want to say because the future was better, and this is not true. Every period is good in each period. But now the, I think the brain or the life of the new generation is too easy because they want everything in one second. Uh, you go Instagram, you want everything easy. Facebook, easy. You want to buy something, credit card, boom, fast. So a little bit calm down, every sport, it's not possible to reach the highest goal in your life if you really don't push yourself until the maximum, if you don't practice hard and you don't spend all your life in that. So for me, everything is possible. If you want, everything is possible, but it's impossible if every day you are sitting in the sofa and thinking I want to become a world champion or wherever you want to be. So if you want to do something in your life, you have to stand up, sweat and have a goal. And this is possible. This is my advice. Stop to play with the telephone and go to the studio and practice. Thank you so much. Welcome. And um, I think that it's, uh, like I already told you, a great uh, opportunity to have you here with us. And we hope that you will be a uh, very often mm -hmm. guest here. The so. coffee was very good, so <laughs> I can come back. Yes, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.